I sat down because I'm fat and really those uh, that from a bunder angle really didn't do me any favors. So I'm sitting in my squeaky ass chair whenever I need it to squeak. It never does, but whenever I'm just trying to... There it is. Kinda? I don't know. Either way, I'm sitting and we're gonna do another tag because I'm out of ideas. So let's do this. <laughs> Now what I failed to do in the last ones was to tell you where I got the tags from, so this time I'm telling you I got them from Young Lifestyle and Nikita Rock Socks. Those are two small YouTubers that could use your support, because all small YouTubers could use some support. That includes me, so stick around. I got shit to say. I just feel weird doing these tag videos because everyone has the the whistling music and they're all nice and they're all in in bright white lights and they're like uh, getting filmed from under and they're like oh hey nice to see you I'm nice and friendly and like 99% of them are women from my searches and then I'm here big hairy giant of a man just like motherfucker I'll tell you what I've been doing my life I struggle I went through hard times daddy I was slept in the alley with kings and queens and I've eaten in the alley with porks and beans and I didn't even say that right <laughs> I just tarnished the legacy of the American dream Dusty Rhodes god damn <laughs> so this one's called the small youtuber tag and I'm a small youtuber I just reached a thousand subscribers that's my celebration <laughs> Now, in all reality, I, I, I celebrated by eating two whole packs of Oreos in one night because I hate myself. <laughs> Let's just get started with the tag, shall we? We talked enough. Number one asked, what inspired me to start making YouTube videos in the first place? Well, in the very early 2000s, I saw videos of my brother and his friends doing these cool sketches, and uh, I could actually show you some right here. Uh, of parodies of Metal Gear Solid and weird songs and stupid stuff that you'll never ever see uh, and I tried to edit some uh, put them up online and I even convinced them to do a sequel of the Metal Gear Solid parody with me in it just so I could be involved and that was really the beginning after that point I really just decided that I wanted to try to emulate the fun I had making the videos and watching the videos back because they were fun and I didn't have friends so I just had to sort of do it on my own and what spawned from that was a lot of videos of me just trying to do it myself I would play with my toys in front of the camera I would film myself doing you know just messing around with Windows Movie Maker special effects and just jerking around with my webcam and having a really dumb time I've always liked to entertain and then that's sort of something I specialize in being weird and loud especially at 2 in the morning they're not happy with me right now, so I'm sorry if I get real quiet near the end of this. And then I made some videos that were actually kind of serious. I made a video responding to a video I saw of a fat kid retaliating against a bully, uh, just beating the shit out of him. I believe he just slammed him to the ground and everyone was like, Oh my god, it's the fat kid's going insane. And I was like, Motherfucker, you step to me. Uh, if there's like all these people around and just cheering a guy on like, Yeah, get him, he's a fat kid. And then the fat kid just hits him once, retaliates, stands up for himself, at school, no no teachers were helping him, no parents were helping him, no peers were helping him, he helped himself, and I believe that he was in the right, and I made two videos about it, and they got a whole lot of views. <laughs> and even before that I made a video talking about my catfish story. Now it's not the one that you could see now, uh, the one that's up now was a remake I did a couple years later, and... Uh, then I noticed something from those is that when you tell a tough story, you give voice to those who have tough stories to tell but don't know how to tell them. So I got a lot of messages from people who told me that me telling my story gave them the power to tell their family or to make a video about their experience. It basically just told a lot of people that they weren't alone. And that really struck a chord with me. And then came the rise of YouTube gaming. And, you know, I like video games. And I had a few friends I could play video games with, mainly my brother. And so I just sort of found a way to record what I was already doing. And that sort of spawned into what I'm doing right now. A mix of random shit like this and random shit like that. And now I have a thousand subscribers. <laughs> what? It is not as simple as it sounds. 
<laughs> just you wait for some of the answers to the other questions. Ah, uh, yeah, number two is going to give you an idea of just how not simple it was. Number two asks, how long have you been on YouTube, and have you had any other channels up until this point? Oh, God, yes. I have been on YouTube since... Well, really before YouTube. I've been making videos since about 2002, 2003. And for those of you who don't know, YouTube really got created in 2005. So yeah, I've been making videos pretty much since before YouTube. And I really only got onto YouTube pretty much right afterwards. I started putting videos on like Facebook and MySpace and shit before YouTube. And then once YouTube came out and I saw people like Ask a Ninja and shit, I was like, I might as well put the stuff I was putting on Facebook on YouTube. And I've just sort of been doing it ever since. In terms of other channels, Fuck yeah, I've had a lot of channels! Holy hell, I've had a lot of channels! I once did like a semester of fake homeschool, and part of my homeschooling was making video presentations of whatever fucking topics my dad told me to do, because that was the kind of shit I was doing. And it was on a channel called Jake TV Vlog. Pretty boring name, I'm aware. And I made a video about uh, Cuban independence and shit, and I accidentally mixed it up. I mixed up a lot of the information with uh, a study I was doing about, like, Mexico and trying to be different from Central America or some shit like that. Uh. And this guy who claimed to be a pastor in Cuba or someone who was from Cuba or did a stint in Cuba or some shit, I don't really remember, went on the video and sent me a message and he was like, you are not right about anything. And I was like, I'm right about everything. I did, I'm in my teens. I'm right about everything. And it became really unpleasant, so I stopped. But I've had other channels. I've had, I believe, like five or six different channels. And I currently have two. Not just this one. I'm not just here. For those of you who are pretty observant about my channel page, it says on the channel banner, the second channel, or our second channel, or my second channel, or the v video diary channel. It's basically a video diary channel where I get on and I just record me talking for a little bit to help me with my therapy, because I ain't got that no more. And um, it's not regular at all. There's no schedule. I haven't even made one this month. Like, it, it literally is just whenever I feel like talking without some sort of goal in mind. That's pretty much what that's for. Number three asks, where do you see yourself and your channel in five years? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing tomorrow. Five years from now, goddamn. In five years, I hope to have successfully culminated a channel that is basically a source of, hey, you can be yourself here. Like, there's a lot of people who spout the idea of, be yourself, be different, be a part of this community, as long as you like what I do. And my goal is to try to branch out and experience all the other things that other people like. I mean, hell, Amorous wasn't my idea. So when it comes down to it, what I want to do is to make people feel like I am receptive to them. YouTube's greatest strength is the ability to have a communication line between creator and audience. And so when people just get into the mindset of having to create and create and create without realizing that the bigger you get on YouTube, the more you better fucking pay attention to the people watching you or else you ain't going nowhere. I want to be the opposite of that. I, I want to be the person who will listen to what people have to say, who people can comment and be like, I feel this about what's going on in my life, or about what's going on on the channel, or could you talk about this, or could you play this, or whatever the fuck, and I'll be like, you know what, I'll give it a shot. I can't guarantee that I'll do everything, or play every game, or talk about every subject, because there are some things that I am not qualified to talk about. But I want to give it the feel that people can and should feel comfortable telling me what is going on in their lives. Not because I'm like nosy and need to know what's going on in everyone's lives, but because a lot of people don't have someone that they feel they can be genuine around or a place that they feel like they can be themselves instead of pretending to be the mask that they put on in front of their family or friends or school or social life. I've spent many years trying to be someone I'm not and for the first time I feel like I'm not only giving myself the opportunity to try to just Hey, guess what? Me! <laughs> but give other people the opportunity to be like, Yeah? Well, how about me? And I'll be like, Yeah! You! Fuck yeah, right? So yeah, that is my goal. And I'd also like to kind of be a showcase of some of the more alternative games that, you know, bigger names probably will shy away from. <coughs> Amorous! And, uh, 
And I'd also like to be at 100,000 subscribers at some point, so that'd be nice! Feel free to contribute to that one with the subscriber button and the likes and the shares and the calls to action that YouTube constantly reminds me to be using and that I keep forgetting to do. Tell me what your favorite color is in the comment below because I'll care. <laughs> if I ask you guys a question, I want you guys to believe that I'm genuinely curious. Not just asking shit so that you have something to comment about. Honestly, I am now curious because I said it as a joke. What's everyone's favorite color? Fuck yeah, mine is fucking emerald green, and next to it is navy blue. So fucking tell me your favorite color. I re I'm genuinely curious. My third favorite color is black, and there's a story behind that that maybe I'll tell someday. Again, I'm just telling, I'm just saying shit because YouTube's telling me to audience interaction. It's a good story though. Maybe I'll do it. Let's just move on to the next question, okay? <laughs> Number four asks, what's the message you're trying to tell with your videos? I think I've kind of already said it. It's what I'm trying to do with my channel, which is, hey, I'm weird slash different, and you can be weird slash different with me, and that'll be awesome, and I will love to hear it. I will love to interact with you about it. Someone who came to the channel because they liked Amorous told me that they really appreciated the open-minded na nature that they found from watching me play the game because I have looked around and a lot of people who play Amorous on YouTube are like, oh, what the fuck, this furry shit, goddamn, bleh, fake puke, bleh. That's nice. Instead, my uncomfortability with the game simply came from the fact that I didn't know what the game was. But now that I do, I'm interested in playing the game because it's a good game. And I've met a lot of cool people as a result of it. Win-win all around. Why pretend it's fucking weird when it's not? Hell, even Amorous did that with Sky. They were like, cosplay is so strange. Shit, if you came to my door and were dressed as like a Digimon, I'd be like, fucking what is this? Fucking awesome is what it is. How'd you find my house again? I'm scared now. <laughs> Number five asks if people from your school have recognized you from your videos. I'm not in school. So no. Number six asks, what's my username mean? It's my last name, and I like Legend of Zelda. And finally, number seven asks, who is my favorite small YouTuber? I don't know that many small YouTubers because I recently just became an Opal YouTuber myself. For those who don't know, Opal is 1,000 subscribers to 10,000, I believe. So I don't know a whole lot of small YouTubers, but I've been researching a lot of these tags, so I have been finding a lot. But right now, I'm probably going to have to recommend someone that I've been watching for a lot longer than I've been fucking relevant. And that is a gentleman by the name of Nathan Talbot. He does a show called What I Do, and he talks a lot about his life and what he's been doing. Literally, what he do. He hasn't made a video in a long time, his most recent video being for the Project for Awesome, and before that, a year ago, he made a video, I don't even fucking remember what it was about. But he's funny, he has this like really low drawl, uh, he's not drawl, but really low register and he doesn't like, emote and go crazy with his stuff, he just like, talks very much to the point and, well, I'll tell you this much, it's, uh, it's this and... Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But his content is really funny and interesting, and I like it, so Nathan Talbot. Yeah. I'll put him along with the descriptions of the two channels that I got this particular tag from, so check everyone out. I tag everyone else. It's fucking open. Go crazy with it. Have fun. Booyaka. I don't know. I fucking channeled Rey Mysterio there for a second. 619! I'm scared. I'm really fucking scared now. I don't know what is going on. Whoa. I have big eyes. I have blue eyes, by the way. I don't know if you can... Can you see? But, uh... I got blue eyes. I can't... When I was watching the video back, I couldn't really tell. But, uh... Yeah. Blue eyes. How you doing? A sweaty ass. All right, that's enough. Thank you all very much for watching this tag. I keep wanting to say episode because I only do Let's Plays now, but thank you very much for watching this tag. On the next one, I don't know what tag I'm doing next. I really don't. The next video I'm filming today isn't a tag, so 
I guess we'll just have to wait and see then. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching this tag video on the next video. Fuck if I know. At this point, I really don't know what's coming next, so stay tuned tomorrow. If I stick to the daily thing by the time this is out, I should, because I literally just changed it. And I will see you next time. I am the trained and professional, speaking for the voices in my head when I say, until next time, fare thee well. Did I do the intro? I'm Decker Link, and my thing is I'm the trained and professional. Huh. You know, I think I'm going to have to redo my intros and outros. At this point, it's getting ridiculous. The fa I don't think I've ever done it right once. So, probably on the next video I'm filming, I'm going to try something different. Something different! Enticement! Come back for the... Look at sad face, don't I? Thank y'all very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs>